Alrighty guys, well here we are, we're at the dam. This is uh, the local dam up here in northern Wisconsin and I'm gonna try something crazy today. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try it. So basically, back in the day there was some type of like thing that went across here, like a bridge, pillars, whatever. Anyways, a lot of people fish right here and casting out a lot of snags and people break off a lot of lures. I've actually, back when I shore fished this, I broke off a ton of lures here. And today, what I'm gonna try to do is get in the water, get some lures, hook them onto my rod, and use those lures to catch fish. But first, I have to, I have to even get lures. I don't have anything with me besides a wetsuit camera gear. I don't think I'm gonna use the wetsuit, but without further ado, I'm gonna get in the water and see, uh, See what we can find. People might be like, oh, you're under a damn water. There is a there's a sign that says no swimming, but that's if the sirens are going off because they're gonna let more water out. Water's really low right now, so there's no reason for them to let more water out. So should be safe down here. I always check on that stuff too. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to find some lures, get underwater. I got pliers with me, knife with me to cut some line. Just hope we can find something. So let's get down there. Oh, another thing, this is a, a power plant dam. It's a hydro dam, so on the other side, it's making electricity and they uh the locals here we call that the fast side because it's coming out of that spillway and it's coming out of there fast um this is the slow side because nothing really happens over here but in the spring when there's a lot of snow melt ice melt they do have this and it does roll out of here pretty good sometimes i've actually seen the water up to like right here so okay let's get in the water one of the first things I better put these in get these in four-wheel drive because I don't want to be uh losing my crock down the river we're going in Three minutes in, got a rattle trap. That should catch a fish. If I don't get it snagged. So we got a rattle trap, a little jig, another little jig with a big old tail on it. So far, so good. I mean, we're finding lures that hopefully can catch a fish.
we got probably the, I don't know, most valuable lure of maybe a $6 value, a Rapala. I think it's a little rip stop, kind of like a jerk bait. Clean that up, maybe catch a fish on it. Um, got a GT 360 search bait. Some maybe a little storm shad looking thing. A Meps musky. That's an old, that's an old beast there. Not gonna use that. That'd just be pointless. But uh, we're cleaning it up. Definitely. There's not much left down there. All right, guys. Well, we're out of the water. Checking over what we got. Um, if you guys seen stuff and I didn't grab it, it's because maybe I didn't see it, and I'm I'm not just gonna pick hooks all out all day because I want to try to make this a challenge of lures. Um, so what we did get for lures? All right. We'll fish with this one. This little jig with a twister tail. See if we can catch something on that. Definitely gonna throw this storm out. A little storm diver. A little minnow profile. See if we can't uh, scrub a little bit of the moss off of that guy or I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Algae, whatever, it's full of stuff. <clears throat> so there it is before. Let's go scrub this bad boy. Alright, so she cleaned up pretty good. Really good. That might catch a fish. It's got a nice chartreuse line down it. Big old crawfish Ned rig down there. I found this uh, I found this deli bag. I'm just gonna toss all these other ones in here. Some of these rigs are like, what even? Oh, this is a sucker rig for musky. So if you're casting for muskie, how this works is this one goes through the nose of the sucker and then this one goes in the back of the sucker and this one goes further back and you got a minnow down there that's like yay long and then here's a big leader so this person was casting out a sucker fishing for muskie i'm not going to keep this i'm going to toss this away and this bag is basically just going to be my toss it bag this here big MEPS number five with a little leader on it. Two liters on it. Some Sometimes some stuff makes you think. Got a leader there and then into another, oh, it was a snap swivel to their line. So they snapped on. <laughs> it works until you get snagged. Big old leader going to a single hook. Works till you get snagged, I guess. Garbage. This uh, this leader had this leader had the rip stop on it. This ain't too old. I'll hold on to that one. Jig with a worm, garbage. Big old musky bait. I I have the the thoughts crossing my mind to toss this out, but I don't think so. Thoughts there? No, no. Big nice sinker. Then you find stuff that just makes you wonder. Maybe. A little twister spinner thing. Might you have to use that to catch fish. Spinner. Big old musky spinner. Another MEP spinner. Garbage. Bottom bouncer. Okay. So bottom bouncer going to 
a snell hook so they're probably trying to run a minnow out there or something like that we'll hold on to that spinner rig that was down there and a jig toss that good old-fashioned daredevil wonder how long that thing's been down there for it's been a minute all right so here's what we made out with we got uh two rattle traps rip stop jig another jig a couple bottom bouncers a leader little walleye hook a couple little snap swivels a little 16th ounce jig a piece of that fishing pole and then a bag of garbage garbage lures Pretty fun. Now we get to the fishing part. Which one should I hook on first? I don't want to say lose it. I'm gonna, we're going right with that ripstop, guys. This is never really, I've never fished with a ripstop before, but I'm gonna cast it out there and give her a couple. Whoosh, whoosh. Let's catch some fish. So I got me Fox River rod, nothing on it, because I didn't bring no lures today, but we found some. First lure that's gonna go on is the rip stop these are uh cleaned them up a little bit you can kind of see where i missed some missed some spots there along the top let's check it out you know i don't know if i'd really buy one of these in the store but i mean it's worth a shot so it floats slow sink not bad i'm gonna get the polarized lens on the camera for you guys let's cast her out Right in the hole. Woo! I'm gonna go right over the wall. Don't get snagged. Ooh. Almost lost it. First cast. Nothing. Okay, well I've been using this for a few minutes now. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna, we're gonna try this bad boy. Little uh, little storm swim bait diver. Oh, ooh, okay. Oh, snags, perfect. Uh oh. No. Well, don't make me like have to dive back in. I really don't want to go this way because it's deeper over here. Okay, I got it. Whew. Oh, I got it. All right, let's just burn it in a little bit. Oh, oh, gotta follow, 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 follow. What is that? Is there a pike or a smallmouth? Let's check, check the hooks here. Check what we got going on. Down into it. Hook looks okay. Whew, that was a close call. Alright guys, well there is musky popping up behind me. Um, we've had some smallmouth just nibble that stuff. I'm gonna go to a rattle trap. Twister, the hook's bent a little bit. Bend her back down. Alright. Let's catch a fish on old Twister tail. That is a, I bet Keith is like, oh yeah, man, Twister. Yeah, that's right, here we go. Twister tails, they work wonders, guys. And it even says, Mr. Twister. It's a, it's a legit OG, here we go. Let's catch a big, big old gill. I don't know, we'll try to catch something right here. Is the gill even gonna eat it? They're like, oh, we've seen that down here for like four years. We don't want that. Pull it in nice and slow here. Well, I'm going to go back to the rip stop. 
closest, newest thing out there, I guess. Oh, we got a fish. Ooh, we had a nice smallie look at that on the first cast. Okay, that's a little promising. We're gonna get back out in front of them. Oh, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. We're hooked up, guys. It's a smallmouth. <laughs> Holy smokes. Easy now. Not gonna let it like slip loose and have a hook dangling in my hand while he's shaking, right? Look at that. Only took like two hours, but lure that we found, went swimming for it, catch a fish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That guy fought, man, them little river smolly, gee whiz. All right, see you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. Here he goes. One more, like, I seen two come up to it. So let's see if I can't pull another one out quick and we'll wrap her up or something else. Now I caught a fish. So I caught, I was gonna go home in a little bit, but I caught a fish, so now I gotta stay like another two hours. And then pull nothing out of that. There's that little hole right there and they're all sitting down in that hole. Perfect. Whoa. What happened here? Got one, got one. No way. Just a cast after that last one. Is this a rock bass? Nope. Another smallmouth. Sweet. We did it again. Buddy. Nice. Just a cast after that one. See you later, buddy. We sit behind the rock right here. Just chilling out. Woo there he goes. All right. Well, guys, just like that, we're gonna wrap it up. We caught two smallies on the lures that we found. Actually, it was on the ripstop. Um, we had a couple bites on those. Fished with that for a minute. Had a bite on this. Didn't really do anything with this, but uh, yeah, got some bottom bouncers. Really, really neat. Like I said, I wanted to challenge today and it was absolutely a challenge. So um, we're gonna get back home. Guys, if you haven't seen the other videos on the screen, check those out like always. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.